Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Janice and I'm a Thermomix consultant. Um, I like to show you how I use my Thermomix to cook for my family. Tonight we're having, there's just two of us for tea tonight and um, I just needed something quick and simple with not many ingredients. So I had a bit of a look to see what I had in my fridge and freezer. And then I found this one, which is a sticky chili beef. So, and I'm going to start cooking. So it says to start off with 25 grams of dark soy sauce. This is the only soy sauce I use. Um, this and that ketchup manis, or however you pronounce that. So I'll start off with the soy sauce and we're going to make the marinade. So we just check to make sure I've got left nothing in my bowl. do um, four tablespoons of runny honey so because of all my honey is all crystallized I've just um, popped a little bit in the microwave to um, um, melt it a bit See if I can, it'll end up in the honey and it'll be sticky then. One tablespoon of tomato ketchup. So I've got, I live in Australia, so we have tomato sauce. Look at that. I'll make a mess. You probably can buy tomato ketchup in Australia, but um, it's not traditionally what it, we call it, so one um, long red chilli, which I have de-seeded and sliced into little shreds, so I've got tomato sauce all over me, excellent. Now we're going to pop the lid on. And we're going to mix it for 10 seconds speed three. Okay. And we're going to put it in this bowl. back on and we're just going to use the scales now I have already I do already know how much meat I've got it's just it was just two um, of the two sirloin steaks which I have cut into um, strips that size so I don't think it is 300 grams it's 267 grams but I wasn't going to cut a little piece off another steak um, and then we're going to mix that in, cover it with um, cling wrap or whatever you use, and then leave it to marinate for 30 minutes. Um, what are we going to do? Yeah. So I'll be back in 30 minutes um, when we're ready to move on to the next step. So our... Um, our sirloin steak has marinated for 30 minutes and now we're going to use the high heat function to sear it. Now I have to wash the bowl at all um, because we're just going to tip that marinade in there. So it says to start off to add 10 grams of sesame oil. 
Mm. I love the smell of sesame oil. Um, now we're going to pop in the steak and the marinade. Okay, so we're going to make sure that the meat is, see how I've put it in there and it's just piled up. We're going to spread it out so it is evenly distributed around the base of the Thermomix, uh, Thermomix bowl. And now we're going to put the lid on. And because we're frying, um, we're using the splash guard. Um, and then we're going to cook that five minutes um, at high, on high heat using the cedar function. And that's going to brown that. And yeah, I'll be back in five. Okay, so that's finished. Now it just says to transfer into a bowl and set aside. Uh, Rightio, so I um, managed to not press record. So what I've done is I've transferred the meat into this bowl. I've added into here 300 grams of mixed vegetables for stir frying. So I've got um, broccoli, capsicum, snow peas and carrot. Um, then I've added 10 grams of sesame oil. Um, I've put the simmering basket on and now we're going to cook that for three minutes at 120 degrees with the blade in reverse. Okay, so um, I'll be back in three minutes. Right so we're going to um, take the lid off and we're going to put the, I'll just show you our vegetables, so they've just been um, lightly steamed and we're going to add back in this beef and marinade. And we're going to put the lid back on with the splash guard. And now we're going to saute that for three minutes um, using the high heat mode. And then I think that's the end of the recipe. Um, yes. So it just says then we're going to um, sprinkle it with some black pepper. So ready? I'll be back when that's finished. Um, so this one's a super quick meal. Even though it says it takes an hour to make, I mean, half an hour is, is taken up with the beef marinating. So that you can, if you're in a hurry, if you've got lots to do, um, you can quickly get the beef marinating and then you can go off and do what you need to do and come back and the actual, the rest of the cooking time is only like half an hour. So it says to season with a pinch of um, fine sea salt and ground back black pepper and then serve and then that's the end. So I'll just show you. So this would be really yummy with rice or some you know, noodles and we're just going to have it in a super fresh crisp vegetables um, and you know, it's it actually I'm gonna have a little taste actually I just I mean I, we've made this quite a few times so I do know that this is really yummy using a top cut of meat for this but using something like fillet or sirloin 
I mean, the recipe says sirloin, but you don't want anything that um, needs cooking time to tenderize. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed the recipe, um, please give the video a thumbs up, um, pop over to my channel and subscribe, and I really hope I'll see you next time.